mentioned um, prior to this fight that you had been working on cardio, you had been swimming. What was it that ha helped you kind of own this fight a little bit? Definitely pushing the pace, kept the pressure on him, kept the pressure on him, landed some real good shots, got some good leg kicks in. Um, of course, we mixed it up a little bit, and I, I definitely believe that I got the best of the exchanges when we did exchange. You know, after they feel my power, everyone starts to fight on the outside and they start to run, so, you know, it is what it is. What's one word to describe how you feel right now? Super fantastic. <laughs> I, mean, feel, I feel unbelievable. It's, it's, it's the best feeling in the world, uh, mainly because, you know, my son, I have, a, I have a little boy, his name is Champ, and he gets to see his dad fighting the UFC, and he, just to see a smile on his face, is, that's, that's what makes me feel good. That's why I fight so hard. What's the deal with the fact that your shorts are blank? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, <laughs> Do you, are you are you looking for sponsors? Do you need some? Do you want to make I'm an just, appeal? I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just letting the, the whole world know, hey, I'm just, uh, my shorts are blank. You know, I'm, I'm all about the sponsorship. You know, just hit my manager up and my coach, Master Lloyd Irvin. I'm pretty sure you, you know, guys talk right and you got me. <laughs> Where was your camp mostly uh, consisted of? Was it at back east, or did you have some? Yeah, there right, right there in Camp Springs, Maryland. I like to stay. I like to stay in camp right where I'm at because that's where I grew up at. Of course, I go out to uh, San Diego and train with Dom and and train with the guys on the West Coast because you know that's my team as well. So I go out there and kick it with them and train. But I like going back home and training in Washington, D.C. in the DMV area because it's grimy out there. I like that grind. We're a tough area. Everybody knows how tough we are, and uh, I just love it. It, it feels good. And speaking of San Diego, will you be at Comic-Con next week? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe I will go, come out there. I, I would like to. Men are a big here. step up in competition. How did you deal with that unorthodox style, especially if you brought anybody into camp? <laughs> You just, you just have to, I, of course, do your studying. I studied, did, did my study on Minjavar. He's a very, very smart and intelligent fighter. And uh, I had to just take it to him, and I had to keep the pressure on him because I know, you know he's smart, and I have to keep him on his feet, keep him on his heels. Have to because he's too experienced. And uh, that's a big win for me tonight. And he's an incredible fighter, and it just feels good to get that win. It must give you confidence, obviously, having Dominic, who has great movement, great striking, yes. going forward, going in against this guy. Of course, of course. Man, me and Don, we, we, man, as soon as he gets better, we already know that me and him are going to be back in the gym together. Oh, the wars. The wars that me and him have. And it's awesome. If you guys was to watch it and see us spar, you guys would be like, what in the world is wrong with them? But that's my boy. That's my brother from another mother, and I love him, man. He, he, he's the guy that put me on. Because of me being behind the scenes, watching him in the UFC and see how he deals with the lime life and everything in the UFC, it, it, it already prepared me. One year ago, he was here fighting Uriah Faber, and I was I was right there in his corner. I was in, right behind the cage. I was right there. I was like, oh, I can't wait to fight. I want to fight in the UFC, and I'm in the UFC, and one year later, I'm fighting here just like he did. There's a lot of talk about uh, Men Jabbar getting a title shot instead of Henan Burrell. They, they plugged him in. Does that put you in line maybe to get a next shot at this interim belt while I, Dom's I, out? I believe so. I believe so. And all I can do now is just keep getting better because I know that time is coming, and it's coming fast. What would happen if you had to face Dominic? Would that come down to you? No, we, we would fight each other. We would have to. That, that, that would be dishonorable if we didn't. Damo is a warrior. He's... he's he, He's going to fight anybody, whoever they put in front of him. And yes, we are brothers, and yes, we are, we are good friends. And he, he would be the only man that I would hug in the middle of that cage before we fight because because of our relationship. Plus, the fans want to see that. that. No one has ever, ever done that in the history of the UFC. No two friends has ever fought each other on the same team, wearing the same band, the same flag. And that will be history right there in the making. And that's what we want to do. We want to always make history. What was like getting the call to come up and uh, fight Ivan, being that he wasn't actually supposed to fight you originally? It felt so good. When Master Lloyd told me, he was like, hey, you want, you want to fight in Jai? I was like, yeah. All right, they want uh, want you to fight Ivan Minjava. I was like, yeah, let's, let's fight. And then it was on an FX card at first, and all of a sudden it bumped me up. To the, uh, to the pay-per-view, and I was like, wow, this is incredible. I get to fight on pay-per-view in front of everybody. So I, I fought tonight, and it felt good to get that win. It's crazy the blessing that you get. You know, you had an injury. You were frustrated when I talked to you about having that injury, not being able to compete last time. Now you end up with a great shot here to, to move yourself up the ranks. It's unbelievable. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I, I thank God all the time. You know, went to church Sunday. Uh, you know, I try to go to church as much as possible. Went to church Sunday. I, just, I was at peace. 
it was one of those it was one of those good feelings. I was like, wow, this this has really come true for me. Because like I tell everybody, I have cocky faith. My words have power. That's what I believe. And me speaking, telling everybody, when I had a fractured elbow and I couldn't fight, I was telling her, I was like, I'm gonna get in the, I'm gonna fight in the UFC. Don't worry, you wait and see. People was like, oh, what happened to him? Look at me now, I'm in the UFC. And I, last year, this around this time, I said, man, I'm gonna fight here at the MGM Grand. I'm fighting here at the MGM Grand. So I, it's just because of my faith and what I believe. And it's, 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 it's such a blessing. Thank you. Thanks, man.